Better strap yourself in. It's time for the Howie Carr Show. When the president says he has more Native American blood, he might be right. According to scientists in the New York Times, the average white European American has twice as much Native American blood as Senator Warren claims in her DNA test. Look, the pitching staff for the Atlanta Braves has more of a claim to be Native Americans than Elizabeth Warren. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't go there. I really wouldn't go there. Live from the Matthews Brothers Studios. I've been told that my grandmother was part Cherokee. Indian. It may all be just talk, but you're going to find out in a couple of weeks because I'm going to take this. Test. You are going to take it. I'm taking it. This is my Trump moment. This is why reality TV. Take, why you I that? just, I'm dying to know. <laughs> She's less than one tenth of one percent. I think I can beat her. Who's your captain? Howie Carr. What appears to be a huge win tonight for President Trump. A judge has just dismissed a defamation lawsuit brought against him by Stormy Daniels. The judge ruling that Daniels is liable for the president's attorney's fees. President Trump's attorney on this, he says no amount of spin or commentary by Stormy Daniels or her lawyer, Mr. Avenatti, can truthfully characterize today's ruling in any way other than total victory for President Trump and total defeat for Stormy Daniels. Rough couple of weeks for Michael Avenatti. I have to say that at this point, Michael Avenatti is as much of a good lawyer as Elizabeth Warren is a Native American. We'd like you to run for president. Unchained and unstoppable. What is cancer like? And he said, Trevor, cancer is, he says, a scary thing because when they first tell you about it, you don't believe that it is happening. You, you know that it exists, but you don't ever believe that it can happen to you. It's something that's scary. And then you think it's only affecting you, but it affects everybody around you. And it seems like it's the end. And for some people it is, but for others it, it isn't. And all you know is that you hate it every single day. And I was like, wow, so, so cancer is Donald Trump. I was like, damn, yeah, that's uh, Rump swabs, hacks, and moon bats beware. It's Howie Carr. 844 Welcome to the Howie Carr Show. If you'd like to join us, that's the phone number from anywhere in the U.S. And we have a lot. To, uh, the stock market is up uh, 550 almost today. That's, that's not bad. They're making it back slowly. I wasn't too worried about uh, when, when it went down last week. I'm not too excited now, but I guess... I'd rather have it going up than down. Anyway, speaking of going down, Elizabeth Warren, the senator from Massachusetts, went down big time, bigly. Yesterday, she released her uh, her phony <laughs> baloney uh, DNA tests. Uh, someone gave her some very poor advice that this would put everything to rest. I bet it was expensive adv- advice, too. Yeah. And, and, it, and, you know, someone told her, you know, the Boston Globe is just the perfect people to handle this. And they couldn't even they couldn't even do the math right, and they they really embarrassed the hell out of her. She's everything is, uh, you know, it's just it's a total disaster. So anyway, right right as we were leaving, we're on uh, you know till seven o'clock Eastern time every night, and uh, around five thirty six o'clock, the Cherokee Nation uh, tweeted out probably the nastiest uh, response to the whole thing, just basically saying she was full of bleep and. How dare she uh, even claim to be an Indian? And that's why she doesn't call herself a Cherokee anymore because she knows how angry the Cherokees are about this whole scam that she's been running here claiming to be an Indian for the last uh, 30 years or so. So anyway, at the, right, right around the, the time we were going off the air, she starts tweeting. I mean, this is, a, this is a real Twitter meltdown that she had. And the reason Grace is here in the studio for this particular hour waving to everybody is mm-hmm. because we're going to do a masterpiece theater. And, uh, I, I don't know how many we'll get to in this first segment because we have, she, she sent out 26 tweets in 74 minutes and, and they're, they're just all, they're all anti-Trump because she wants to change the subject the, 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 from the fact that she's an ethnic fraud and that she, uh, you know, lied about her heritage uh, to get these uh, sweet jobs at the uh, University of Pennsylvania and Harvard Law Schools in the Ivy League. So she she just starts tweeting out madly right after the Cherokee Nation put the blast on her. So I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to give you the times of all these tweets. And uh, and, and uh, Grace is going to be in the role. She has a starring role. I'm just the narrator here, kind of like, you know, uh, William Conrad in The Fugitive. <laughs> Dr. Richard Kimball. Dr. On the run for murder he didn't commit. 
Okay, so I, I'm think of me as William Conrad here. I'm just going to give the time, and then Grace will be uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren. And just the highlights. No, no, you can do the whole thing. Do okay. the whole thing because I, I most of it's high, they're all short. Okay, okay we're going to start out six fifty nine p.m. We all know why real Donald Trump makes creepy physical threats about me, right? He's scared. He's trying to do what he always does to women who scare him. Call us names. Attack us personally. Shrink us down to feel better about himself. It may soothe his ego, but it won't work. Us? Us? What do you mean we, Kimasabi? Let's just keep moving along here. 702. Bottom line. My heritage played no role in my hiring ever. The Boston Globe reviewed all of the evidence. Their verdict? At every step of her remarkable rise in the legal profession, the people responsible for hiring her saw her as a white woman. Wow. She's been, she's been cleared by the Boston Globe. Wow. Case closed. Let's move on. Dot org. 709. I won't sit quietly for real Donald Trump's racism. So I took a test. But DNA and family history has nothing to do with tribal affiliation or citizenship, which is determined only, only by tribal nations. I respect the distinction and don't list myself as native in the Senate. She never mentioned this until Cherokee Nation put the blast on her and then suddenly it became very important. Like, and by the way, no one's, no one's accusing her of using her heritage to get these jobs. We're accusing her of using her fake heritage hmm. to get the jobs. 715. Speaking of family stories, Donald Trump has one too. It's the story of a second generation tax cheat who has handed $413 million inheritance through rich guy loopholes and outright criminal fraud. Really, if she's got some information, she should present it to the group, to the uh, to the U.S. attorney. By the and by the way, too, uh, you know, it's she's accusing someone of being a tax cheat after she try, after she wrote off five fifty thousand dollars in clothing donations and then claimed that when I called her out on it, she said it was an an entry error. Seven seventeen. If real Donald Trump, a cowardly elitist who has never known or cared what life is like for anyone who's lived outside of a skyscraper in Manhattan, wants to talk about authenticity, well then, let's talk about who's really pretending to be someone they're not. Okay, let's talk about you then. And by the way, a cowardly elitist. This is a woman who tells, when you're, when, you're, uh, when you're in the cheese shop, talk to the voter behind you. By the way, you're doing a great job with the accent. Thank you. 721. For starters, Donald Trump wants us to think he's a billionaire, but he won't show us his tax returns. Why? Maybe he isn't as rich as he pretends, and he doesn't want us to know that his empire is really built on debts he owes to some sketchy characters. Geez, things certainly changed. He was a fabulously wealthy and lived in a skyscraper at 717, and then he becomes a scam artist who doesn't really have any money four minutes later. Okay, let's see what he's doing at 4, 725. And Donald Trump brags about being a successful businessman, but he's only good at going bust. He even lost his money with a casino and cheating people, scamming Trump youth students, shortchanging workers and contractors, and abusing bankruptcy laws to save his own skin. You're getting good reviews generally, but uh, so, uh, when nine seven eight says, "Could you have Grace be a little more shrill?" She's just missing, just quite okay, missing the okay. grating so sound of Elizabeth Warren. I mean, you're a great thespian, but you'll never really capture how annoying Elizabeth. Yeah, Warren it's is. hard. It's hard. Okay, uh, where shrill, are we up to? Seven twenty nine. Seven twenty nine. We all knew that before real Donald Trump became president, but since he took office. We've learned that the scam runs even deeper. Oh, I like the way you're, you know, you're stretching out the words. That is an improvement. Okay, 732. He pretends he's a populist, but Donald Trump's economic policies are all about making the rich richer and the powerful more powerful. He stuffed his administration with so many former Goldman Sachs bankers, they could open a branch office. 734. 
He promised to hashtag <laughs> drain the swamp. But real Donald Trump is the most corrupt president in American history. The long line of scandals and convictions, Pruitt, Price, Manafort, Cohen, etc. Prove it. Art of the deal. More like art of the plea deal. This is like Whoa, a, this good is, one. This is Zing. Art, that this one is landed. Art of change the subject. This is wag the dog political division. 737. He pretends to love law enforcement, but attacks his own Justice Department. Attacks the American hero who led the FBI after 9-11 for doing his job. And stuffs his administration with crooks who bend over backwards to make sure no CEO ever goes to jail for cheating people. I'm confused. I thought they hated Jim Comey. I thought Jim Comey was the worst man uh, in history, but now he's a hero. 739. He demands military parades in his honor, but cheats our veterans out of charitable donations, <laughs> attacks their families, ducked out of Vietnam, and can't even bother to visit the troops that he refuses to bring home from Afghanistan or Iraq. She didn't check the box all those years when she could have paid it the higher tax rate. She cheated the veterans out of 51,000 bucks. 741. He drapes himself in the flag, but for all his talk about making America great again, all Donald Trump does is attack our core values. The free press, the democratic process, our legacy of diversity, while he shovels taxpayer cash into his own pockets. Wait a second, he doesn't take a salary. Wait, what is she basing this on? 744. And Donald Trump loves playing the strong, decisive leader. But look at the chaos on his own staff. The way his administration fumbled the Puerto Rico recovery. Or how he constantly undermines his own agenda with his own incompetence. So is this is this rage tweeting? Because this mo this morning Donald Trump busts off like five funny tweets. He's rage tweeting. This sounds a lot more uh, you know raging than anything Trump tweets out. Yeah, she's even losing she's losing steam. Can we get you a? Can we refresh your drink, uh, <laughs> Madam Senator? No, I she mean, doesn't. She doesn't consume. She knows the, the the ravages that liquor has taken on her people. <laughs> all right, we're gonna come back with some more. Of that. I was gonna only make it one segment. We, we've only. We've got about we got about half more to go. We'll do some more when we come back. Are You're you doing up a for good it, Grace? job. Yeah, I'm sweating. Yeah, someone says you you uh, people are, you're getting really good reviews. Somebody says that did you have something bad to eat for lunch today, Grace? You seem to be in pain. Yeah, it's it's this is I played a lot of roles, but this is definitely one of the more difficult. I'm Howie Carr. Keep it here, chumps. More Howie Carr after this. This is Chuck Connell from Burlington, Mass. This is Karosha Ona, Manchester, New Hampshire. This is Daniel from Medway, Massachusetts. This is the Howie Car Show. I got cut off once from uh, Twitter, but it was during the Whitey Bulger trial. I was just tweeting so much. It was really good testimony. They said, you've tweeted enough for a while. You're, <laughs> we're giving you an hour off. But it, I mean, it wasn't because I wasn't out of control like this. This woman's crazy. She's she's losing. She's lost it in this. This uh, this is a real tweet rage. OK, let's go back to work because we it, it takes a long time to do this. Uh, Grace, are you back in character? You ready to go? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's very good. 746. Oh, and one more thing. Real Donald Trump likes to pretend he's a real tough guy. But like most bullies, he sure scares easy doesn't he by the way that wasn't the one more thing there's about 10 more to go and by the way doesn't she sound a little scared is she a bully 749 he's afraid to stand up to vladimir putin in defense of our country afraid to talk to robert Mueller because he knows he'll crack under pressure and so afraid to go out in public he hides out at his own golf clubs <laughs> Uh, 751 and you know what scares him the most us the american people he's afraid we'll see him for who he really is and expose the con that he's been running on our country from day one it really takes a lot of chutzpah for elizabeth warren to accuse somebody else of running a con doesn't it 
754. And Donald Trump should be scared because on November 6th, we're going to bust up that con once and for all. And don't you forget it. 756, just two minutes later. Here's the deal, Donald Trump. Washington is more corrupt and more out of touch than ever. And it turns out Donald Trump never had any plan to make things better. And he has no plan now. All he can offer are attacks and distractions. And full employment. (laughs) And record levels at the stock market. And energy independence. Other than that, he's a total con! 758. But nicknames don't help families pay for child care. Conspiracy theories won't solve climate change. Racial slurs can't raise wages or make our communities safer. Can't make our cheese shops safer. 802. It's been an hour now that this has been going on. Like I promised NCAI in February, whenever someone brings up my family story, I'll use it to lift up the story of Native families and communities. I'll use it today to lift up the NIWRC and their amazing work to protect Native women from violence. The Cherokee Nation doesn't feel very lifted up by yesterday. Well, she's not a Cherokee, though, anymore. She's a Native. You know, she switched tribes. I, I didn't know you could switch tribes like that, but she's now a Native. 804. I'm ready to support working people and help middle-class families build real security. She's ready now? She's been a senator for six years. I'm ready to root our corruption and clean up Washington. I'm ready to stop the politics of hatred and division so we can bring back core American values like diversity and respect. You like your crumbs, your tax cuts? Well, she's ready to do something about that, too. 806. I'm ready to reverse the trillion-dollar tax scam and use that money to help cut student debt and rebuild infrastructure. Ready to stand with our allies against our enemies and get to work on clean energy, immigration reform, and gun safety. You realize that Native Americans pay taxes too, right? So she wants to take more. She wants the federal government to take more property from Native Americans. Hey, Senator, here's my alternative plan. I get to keep my crumbs and the students who ran up the student loans worry about the student loan debt. How's that sound? 808. But to do that, we've got to work as hard as we can between now and November 6th to tune out the lies, ignore the chaos, shrug off the fake bluster and focus on organizing the, for real change. How can I tune out the lie, Senator, if you keep tweeting me like this? There's a new one every two minutes. 810. At the end of the day, I trust the people of Massachusetts to look at the facts about who I am and how I've lived my life and make their own judgment about me. But remember, Donald Trump doesn't have the same kind of faith in you. <laughs> you can trust the fake Indian. She's not like the others. And finally, we've come to the end of the performance, 813. And on November 6th, if you're tired of getting scammed by your president, stand with me and with the reformers on the ballot in your community. And let's elect new leadership so we can start getting things back on track in Washington. If you're tired of being scammed by your president, you can be scammed by your fake Indian senator. Very good, Grace. Very good. Thank you. I wish Twitter would go back to the 140 character policy. That's one critique of Maui Carr. I'm an avid supporter of the.